court takes fresh action on suit seeking to stop Tunubu's swearing in over 25% votes needed. Welcome back to the news. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Federal High Court in Abuja has set a fresh date for the continuation of the suit seeking to stop the swearing in of Atiwe Jubola Metunubu as the president of Nigeria based on the controversy regarding the 25% of votes in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. According to Daily Trust report, the court on Monday held that there are three questions these, those who fight the case must answer through their lawyers before the case can proceed. The suit which was filed by Misa Koye, David Adeza, Jeffrey Uchena, Asangwe Po, and Chibuike Nwachuku, who described themselves as registered voters of the FCT Abuja. They are seeking a declaration that no candidate in the federal in the February 25th presidential election in the in Nigeria may validly be declared elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria without that candidate obtaining at least 25% of the votes cast in the FCT Abuja. The Attorney General of the Federation and the Chief Justice of Nigeria, the CJN, were cited in the matter as first and second defendant, respectively. However, at the hearing on Monday before Justice Aeyong Eko, the judge told the plaintiff the, the lawyers, Chooks Mwachuku, that the case has been adjoined to May 18 to allow him to get answers to his certain questions. Justice Eko said the lawyer must address the courts on Lucas Standee right to appear in court, jurisdiction and whether his case is already before the presidential election petition tribunal. Record that on Wednesday, March 1st, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Tunubu the candidate of the APC winner of the 2023 presidential election held on Saturday, February 25th. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu, who announced the result, said Tunubu pulled a total of 8,794,726 votes. Why Atiku pulled 6,984,520 votes, and Obi came third with 6,110,533 votes. Tunubu, who scored only about 19% of the votes cast in the FCT Abuja, INEC says that it does not deprive him of victory. The electoral umpire said. The APC flag bearer did not have to score 25 votes, 25 votes cast in the FCT before being declared Nigerian president elect, justifying its declaration of Tunubu as the president elect. INEC said, by scoring 25 percent of the valid votes cast in 29 states, Tunubu has satisfied the requirements of the constitution to be declared winner of the presidential election. Thus rendering the requirement of having 25% of the valid vote cast in federal capital territory unnecessary. Citing Section 134-2B of the Constitution, INEC contended that his declaration and return of Tunubu was not worth for, wrong for having scored one quarter of the valid vote cast in 29 states, which is beyond the constitutional threshold for declaration. The electoral umpire further argued that Nigeria's constitution confers the status of a state on the FCT Abuja and has to be recognized as one of the states of the federation. Hmm. Imagine the Wahala when this INEC chairman don't drop for Nigerians. Now, like this, we go just the judge them this matter, judge, 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 even till after Bola made Tunubu's tenor. Because the way it is right now, 
Nobody even know the way the judiciary is going. Majority of Nigerians are saying they don't trust the, 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 the judiciary because Ebola Ahmed Tunubu is being sworn in today. So that means the matter don't finish with that. Everything the, will be compromised. And that is even the reason why, the most reason why they are saying they, they should not, you know, it should not be inaugurated. Bola Metinibu should not be inaugurated. That is the, the reason majority of Nigerians are, uh, are, are saying no, no, no to May 29th. Because they are afraid that if that happens, <laughs> nothing like just verdict. You understand? And if not of what INEC did, I don't think we should be here. We should not be talking about this. This, this government continue to drag us back. We are supposed to be going forward. We are supposed to be discussing how the new uh, uh, president, you know, should take over power and uh, what is going to do to make sure that Nigeria will kick up again. That is what we should be supposed to be talking about, not who won election and who did not win election. This is where they have kept us. And this is what you get. When you don't do things at the rightful way, you know all these implications and you went ahead and did what you did. Nigerians cried, Nigerians, yeah, Nigerians moaned about the, the process of the election, but that did not stop the INEC chairman to announce the president-elect. Then they would tell you to go to court because they know that there is nothing you can do about it. And they know that the court, now then be caught. Who be caught? Now then be caught. With what is going on in Nigeria, since President Mahmoud Buhari, you know, uh, uh, in office, assumption in, in office, you should understand that they don't obey court orders. It's just like that. They know they fear Nigerian court. So courts go give them order. They go do another one. Now, now where did they do that kind of thing? Now, let Nigeria now they see that kind of thing that happen, and then they talk say, "Hey, now democracy now we did." I don't understand though. I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.